is Kathy from the National Trust. Let's talk about how you can tell these two iguanas apart. I know my toys look all really, really different from each other. It seems obvious. But if you see them in real life, sometimes it's not quite as clear. So if we talk a little bit about how different they are, next time you see one, you'll be able to know, no matter what color it is, because you can't always tell by the color. Sometimes these blue iguanas, if it's dark and it's cloudy and rainy, they might not be such a bright blue. They might look sort of grayish in color. And the green iguanas aren't always green. The males can be a bright orange color with the blue faces, and the females can be sort of a grayish color that looks almost similar to the color the blue iguanas can sometimes be. So don't judge it just by the color. There's other things to look for. For instance, look at their cheeks. Can you guys see that this green iguana has this round patch on the cheek? It has a scale right there on his cheek. That's pretty common in green iguanas, but a blue iguana has kind of a spiky cheek. So that's one way to tell the difference. Also, if you look down at their dewlaps, that's this little skin underneath the chin. The green iguana has spikes on the front of their dewlap. So underneath their chin, you're gonna see little spikes coming out here. The blue iguana never has that. They have a smooth dewlap, smooth underneath their chin. Another way, check out these spines on the back of the head and down the back as well. These are really, really long sometimes really long and thin, especially on the back of the head. Whereas the blue iguana has shorter spines and they're more uniformly shaped. It's more or less the same sort of size all the way down. You're gonna see these big long ones hanging off the back of the head. So that's another way to tell. Also, their eyes. So the green iguanas have an eye color and foot color that's similar in shade of color to the, to the body. So if it's a green iguana that's quite green, it has sort of greenish, almost golden eyes, and their feet are gonna be the same color. Whereas a blue iguana, blue iguanas are really cool. They actually call these things blue dragons because they're so cool. They, you know how our eyes have a white part? Well, in the blue iguana, that white is actually red. So they have red eyes, which looks really cool. And their feet, you can't see it on this little guy, but their feet are black. Almost like they stepped in some black paint all the way up to their wrists. So that's another great way to tell as well. Also our blue iguanas, the, my little toys here are sort of backwards, but usually the blue iguana is heavier, kind of more sturdy. He's got a more sturdy, thicker tail as well, where the green iguanas are usually a little bit thinner and they look like they're faster runners, because they are, and they have usually a longer, kind of more whip-like tail, and they've got these big bands, these big black stripes on the tail, Whereas you're not gonna really see that in the blue iguana. They might have a little bit of black on the tail, but not like this with this really, really bold, vivid black striping that they have on their tail. So those are probably the easiest ways to tell these two species apart. And keep in mind that they behave a little differently too. If you go up to a green iguana, they're gonna run straight up into a tree or run into a pond and go swimming to get away. Blue iguanas might just stand there. They don't really like to climb trees or go swimming. So that's another way, to how they behave. So thanks so much, guys. It was great to see you today. Bye.